Hi everybody, this is Jonathan from Love of the Bits. Now in my last video, I demonstrated adding something to the dock as part of a much larger project. And I had a couple questions from people regarding difficulties adding things to and from the dock. So the dock is this area at the very bottom of the screen with all these different icons. And it's designed to be a place to create shortcuts for applications or files that you access frequently. By default, the dock has a variety of icons in it when you first turn on your computer. For instance, uh, Launchpad if you're running Mountain Lion or Lion, uh, Mail, Safari, uh, even FaceTime. Now, if you want to remove something from the dock, it's actually quite easy. What you want to do is click and drag it out of the dock. You'll actually see a little picture of a cloud appear next to your cursor to let you know that when you release it, that's going to disappear. To add something to the dock, you're simply going to click and drag it and it will automatically find a place in the dock. Although there is one very particular rule about things in the dock. You might notice this little line down here in the bottom right corner. This separates the dock into two sections. This left hand section is specifically for applications. So if I open up Launchpad here and let's grab Calendar again. And I'm just going to drag that back down to the dock. You'll see the icons actually move aside to make room for it it'll add itself right like that. Now, if I grab a different application like the calculator here, and instead I try to drag it to the right-hand side, right-hand side of that line, you'll see they don't move aside. There's actually a reservation area on the dock, you might say. On the left-hand side, you'll have applications. On the right-hand side, you'll have other things, so commonly accessed files or folders. So I'm gonna go to the finder here. I'm gonna go to documents. And here's a file named passwords and if I click and drag that to the right hand side of the dock you'll see it can appear just like so. If I click and drag it it disappears from the dock just like that. So left hand side of the dock applications, right hand side of the dock pretty much everything else. If you do have an item in the dock and you click and try to drag it out and it doesn't disappear immediately it may be because the application's open or running. And you'll actually be able to tell by a little light in the bottom of the dock right underneath the icon. And you can actually go into your settings and turn that light off if you like. That item will disappear from the dock just after that application is quit. The dock also shows you which applications are running. So even if you didn't add something from the dock, but you opened up uh, an application, for instance, I'll open up the calculator here, you'll see it moves into the dock. And when I leave that application, it disappears. So just to recap, the dock is a quick place to store shortcuts. It has two sections. On the left-hand side is a list of applications and also a list of which programs are currently open. And the right-hand side is a place where you can store shortcuts for other things like files and folders. To remove something, simply click and drag it free from the dock. To add something, just click and drag it down to the appropriate side. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for other videos, please let us know by sending us an email to requests at levithabits.com.